Huh? Is that good, huh, or is that good? Well, what think, huh? well, why don't you put the whole thing in your mouth? The whole thing? Well, at least, yes, I mean, you can't just nibble at it. You have to look like you're enjoying it. the camera it. on? The camera's on. You're on. Okay? Oh, God, okay. Ooh, isn't that delicious, mm -hmm. huh? <laughs> just enjoy the heck out of it. I can't, I can't no. swallow it. It's stuck in my teeth. <laughs> you can't grimace like that oh, because Jesus. the crackers are flying out of your mouth. Mm. That's not going to work, Give okay? Me, i got to have something to drink. Okay, to take a drink and let me put some more cheese teas okay. on the cracker. Okay. And now put it in the mouth. Oh, oh I'm sorry. Oh, man. I got some in your blouse. Don't worry it's about it. Send, me the, send me the bill. Send me the bill. The camera's running. Well, if I don't love it, I don't get to do the commercial, right? That's right. I don't love it. Well, then, but thank I... you. Have a nice day. Yeah, with this stuff eating a hole in my blouse? Uh-huh. In a few minutes, what we're going to do here is we're going to be making some commercials and asking you to just come on up and uh, try the product and tell us what you honestly think of it. We're not going to put any words in your mouth. Someone who might like to uh, just come along, try a little cheese teas, and uh, perhaps... Uh, oh, here's somebody right here. Uh, Valerie, why don't we... Hi. No? You don't care for any. Okay, all right. Thank you very much. What we're really looking for is hire. How are you? Someone who might like to uh, just come along, try a little cheese tease, and uh, here's someone right here. Valerie, why don't we... Hi, what's your name? I'll tell you right off. We don't like things in cans. You buy soft drinks in cans? Yeah, but this is cheese. Oh, I see. Because it's a dairy product, the idea of a dairy product being in a can. Exactly. Right. I mean, beer in a can. Well, how about on a cracker? In yeah. Hands. Now, uh, we'll tell you what, why don't we just have an open mind and an open mouth, huh? Okay, try All this. Right. It's so delicious. You're my daughter, one. What? This is your daughter? This is not your sister? I can't Come believe on. it. Of course, one for your lovely daughter. What do you think, honey? Is this delicious, you guys, or what? Now, tell the truth. What do you think? Huh? Huh? What we'd like you to do is look in the camera and say, mmm, tastes like real cheddar cheese. You don't think it does? You really don't? Uh-uh. It doesn't? Well, what does it taste like? Shit. Watch yourself. Watch your car. Watch your car. Look, Concepcion. Concepcion, watch that. Look, wait a minute. I'm so sorry, you little monster. Are you all right? I'm so sorry. Jeff, oh, Jeff, don't you dare. Jeff, right over here. Pardon me. You got this? Jeff. Whoops, here we go. Huh? Huh? Yeah, come here, darling. One more, one more. Which one has the real cheddar on it, and which one has the cheese teas? More importantly, which one says, take me home? I know you want me to be honest, but I must confess they both taste like Corette. As soon as you shoved the crackers into my mouth, I was chewing gum, and they all got it mixed up together. Car's all loaded, Mrs. Kramer. Well, here you are, Stu. Thank you. Here's a free can of cheese teas. Oh, uh, well, thank you. Enjoy. Thank you. It's good on anything. It has a shelf life of 12 years. Okay, well, goodbye, and thank you. Bye. 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 Wonderful family. My story, the story of Pat Kramer, began on what seemed to be a perfectly normal day. Mom, can we stay up till Dad comes home? Maybe we'll see you later. Mother, he's on you my side! You dummy! I did not, and don't you talk with your mouth full and yell in my ear like that. You skip with another one. Yeah. <coughs> Boy, it smells! <coughs> Get your room <coughs> on! <coughs> <coughs> Try camper clean. No more ring around the fender, honey. Great new diet daiquiri mix at the store, hon. Pat, you deserve a break today. Pat, you gotta get some of this stuff for your lawn. Ever see our boat look better? Pat, it's boat sheen. Hi, Pat. Got some volume. Hey, Pat, how about a weenie, huh? <laughs> there I was, safe and secure in the belief that nothing unusual ever happens in Tasty Meadows. <laughs> Jeffrey Dallas Kramer, you pick every one of those up, and I mean it. Hi, Judith. Pat, I was just this minute thinking of you. Don't let him in, he's too green. Don't let him in. Don't let him in. Ding dong. Slow natural, Colin. Judith, come on in. Give me a little bar of soup for the gods. I certainly will not, and oranges are for eating. You know what? I know someday I'm going to find out you're adopted. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my, 
Pat, it's all that sex and violence on TV. Give me that gun right now. Give it here. Jeff, give me that gun. Give me that gun. Let's go. Come on, let's go. Let's go, all of you. Let's go. And no allowance till Skip gets his bath. Julio. Pero mira que quité comida de la boca de mis niños para comprarte. Entonces, dáselos a regreso. Oh, Judith. Here, I'll do that. How about some coffee? No, thank you, Pat. I know how busy you are, but I am so excited. You know that new product line I'm going to sell. I'm so sorry, Judith. One of Jeff's boys. Well, boys will be boys, especially in this household. Presenting Flow Natural. Go ahead. Oh, now, they have Flow Natural hairspray, Fountain of Truth beauty cream, and this is so light and fluffy on the face. No fooling cleanser. I just love that tune. It is nice. No sweat deodorant. <laughs> what a name. And Pat, for the total woman, they have developed <clears throat> a new feminine hygiene spray called Breathe Easy. Now, isn't that a comfort? This product not only does the job, but is also good for you. I have heard that a certain national leading brand, which shall remain nameless, actually kills cockroaches. Judith, no! Disgusting. Best house in need pound of water, the hose won't work. No. Concepcion, uh, Concepcion, uh, agua, uh, uh, pan con agua, por favor. <laughs> Well, I'll just leave this questionnaire and your complimentary free samples. <clears throat> Judith, I honestly, I don't think I have room to store one more thing in this kitchen. Well, then, Pat, this is even more of a godsend than I thought. Watch this. It's called Tray Natural. Talk about clever. Thanks, Judith. Well, it's been a pleasure serving you. Bong bing, flow natural leaving. Adios, Concepcion. Concepcion. We've got to get all this stuff put away. I'm ignoring you, Jeff, but if you don't go eat your supper, I'm going to have to tell your dad. Biggest account. I made a one hour presentation. They gave me a standing ovation. Honey, did they? One guy said, Nice job, Vince. <laughs> Kids in bed? Are you kidding? They are dying to see you. That's all they have talked about. Look who's here. My children! Hi. Hi. Guess the presents can wait. Yeah! Hello, kids. Have you been good <laughs> kids while Daddy's been away? Aren't those darling? Airport presents. You have a wonderful father. Honey, what do you think of this name for new candy we're developing? Exploded gum. Oh, I think it sounds fun. Yes, I like sounds it. That sounds fun. Okay, okay, but one piece each, and that's it. And this is for you? Have you been a good girl while Daddy's been away? Airport presents. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah, come on, just go right into the bed. Let's go. Come on, Peter, little bar of soap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, 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 okay. Hey, okay, get in the bed. I'll do it. I'll do it. Yay! Oh, I wish I was a little bar of soap. Bar of soap. Oh, I wish I was a little bar of soap. Don't throw. 
I go slippy sloppy slimy over everybody's hiney. Oh, I wish I was a little bar of soap. Sit wow. down, what are you doing? Get in the bed, let's go. Come on, under the covers. Mom, you're cool. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I know, you just like to see your old mother make a fool of herself, don't you? Mm -hmm. Mom. Good job. Can I have my space gun back? Tomorrow, go to sleep. Mom. What? I love you. Me too. Me too. I love you too. Mwah. <laughs> Welcome home. Did you miss me? Mm. Hmm. Came straight from the factory. Smell this. Oh, oh honey, honey, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, oh no, God. it's nothing. It's my fault, sweetheart. I'm just going to take it off and rinse it out before it's stained. Thank heaven for polyester. Try this new detergent. Oh, the fumes from this perfume sting my eyes. Really? But it smells good. If these new accounts work out, I could get a raise. Or the partnership. Which name do you prefer for the new perfume? Hypnotique? Honey, too old-fashioned. How about Arise? Kind of sounds like a breakfast food to me. Breakfast food? Oh, Vance! Oh, I know what to call it. Sex pot. Oh, I love it. I love it. Make her come in a little pot and be solid so it wouldn't spill. <laughs> You're not supposed to be out of the bed. Neither are you. Shh. I doing again? Oh, no, no. No, no, it's you and the perfume and the night and the music. Oh, is it? You know, sex part I love sex. think of sex and dope. I think it says it all. It may say too much. I think sex pot is a direct, honest, hardcore approach to selling perfume. Your wife's on the phone. She says it's important. Vance, uh, honey, that blouse I had last night, you didn't uh, take it to the cleaners this morning or anything, did you? What, honey? The one I rinsed out, it's, Vance, it's like it disappeared right off the towel. I... Pat, we're, we're right in the middle of deciding on sex pot. C could I call you later with this? Wait, Vance? My fingernails, they seem like they're shorter to me today than they were yesterday. Sweetheart, please, uh, let me call you later. I'm so sorry I called this. I'll see you tonight. Yeah, I love you, darling. Bye. Oh, I, I sorry. I it's all right. The meeting's over. How's Pam? Pat, she's fine. Oh, Pat, Pat, of course. Sex spot, huh? Sex pot. I like it. I like it. <laughs> it's big. <laughs> it's big, big. Thank you, thank you. Yeah. I hope you like that. You're thinking big. Speaking of, is this office big enough for you? Oh. Well, what, what, what were you? Uh, what? Were you, Let's see what you do with this. Big new glue account. That night, Vance brought me flowers. He was in such a festive mood, and it was my turn to host us our monthly block meeting. So I decided not to mention my fingernails or the blouse incident again. Besides, we became involved in a new incident. And I am so happy to announce that we have enough money in the neighborhood kitty at last to plant a new shrub. And that reminds me, Mrs. Wicks, I do believe there were several times last month that you neglected to clean up after your dog. Just one rainy day. 
You know, it grieves me to see a grown woman cheapen herself by lying in front of her neighbors. I have it right here in my record book. I found the offensive evidence first on August 15th, about 8 p.m., and then again on August 15th. Hi, honey. Hi, 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 hi. Oh, flowers. Thank you, darling. Colleen, was that a, a double? Yeah, that's nice. Concepcion. Right. Si. Um, agua. Si. Yes. Las Flores. Si. Gracias. Si. Yes. Si. April 15th at 8 p.m., and again on April 22nd, and then again on April 30th. Oh, Vance, it looks like uh, the old body could use a little bit of tone. This body? You should try running. Uh, oh, oh, oh. oh. Oh, it's okay. It's okay, Greg. You broke a vase. Don't wait for days. Here's what to do. Good as new. Oh! oh. What is the name? Galaxy Glue. How does that sound? I think it sounds Galaxy good. Glue. Galaxy Glue. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. <laughs> what does it mean, honey? What does it mean? Uh, Oh, buenas noches, Senor Rodriguez. Uh, como esta? Concepcion, your carpool is here. Mother, where are my blue leotards? In the dryer. Come on, come on. Let's see, they must be done. Look in the I dryer I want to go home to school tomorrow. Oh, okay. You can't hear. Wait, honey, my hand is stuck. Oh, oh liquid glue. Oh, wait a second. Ah! Wait. Oh, jeez. Oh, 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 wait, now hold sorry, everything. Let me get a quiet chop. Don't, don't do anything wrong. Dude, just hook. Wait, let me... Now, hook. No, please. Oh, Shh, now, keep Skip out of here. No whining. Concepcion, no, down. don't worry Come about on, it. Come on, help me. Ah! Oh, no, no, shh. Concepcion. Ah! That stuff really works, doesn't it? Ah! Okay, take it easy. Concepcion. Concepcion, ah! take, it, take it easy. Concepcion. Good morning, darling. Look, there's Dad's commercial. Okay, shh. Oh, yes. Oh, and I just love it. I've used it for years. Well, you may be in for a Honey, we're so proud of you. Thanks. He's gonna say I don't believe it now. Shh. I don't believe it. See, I told I don't you. Don't believe it. It is good. Coffee? Uh. You'd better buy it. New Cosmos cleaner. <sighs> Hello, little green man. Hello, monkey boy. <laughs> oh, honey. Are you dieting again, honey? Honey, I'm so sorry. Isn't that silly? Look, it's okay. I'm late. I'm okay anyway. I'll talk to you later. Bye, honey. <laughs> Vance, our lips used to meet. Perfectly normal. Five foot, five inches. Five, five. I'm five, seven. No, you're five, five. These scales don't lie. <gasps> but I've been five, seven ever since I was 19. It says 5'7", doesn't it? Hi, Judith. Okay, girl, now, you glued the handles back on these two coffee cups, right? Yeah, I found this cup I used last night. Just like this. Let's glue up your side. Right. Vance, I'm getting smaller every day. We'll see Dr. Atkins again tomorrow. Honey, I'm sure there must be some logical explanation. I'm sure there must. There's your commercial. Got a friend at Galaxy Glue. Galaxy Glue sticks by you. I needed two full sets of pictures, spaced several days apart, to compare before I could be sure. I don't profess to understand it, Pat. There's no medical precedent for what appears to be happening to you. I just know you're getting smaller, these. X-rays prove it beyond any doubt. Now, I'm sending you to the Kleinman Institute for the study of unexplained phenomena. If there is any explanation for this at all, they're the ones who'll find it. The 
then began a series of grueling, intensive tests. I was pinched, poked, prodded. I was examined by specialists I never even knew existed. They gave me radioactive iodine tests, scanning electron microscopic tests. The target tests. tissues have somehow reverted to multipotentiality, causing an aberrant cascade effect on the pituitary. More importantly, there seems to be a complete lack of somatrophin. We need more tests. Brain tests, bone tests, blood tests, bioneurothermal tests, ultrasonic tests, chromatography tests. Regular and hormonal problem as well as a glandular one. Reversal of the olfaction factor. A double helix in consistency and erratic behavior among your phagocytes. Elasticity tests, enzyme tests, endocrine tests, chromosome tests, cellular tests, metabolic tests. Tests, tests, tests and more tests. We've got it. Are you anemic? After all those tests, you don't know if she's anemic? Sweetheart, so, please, so. please. Have you had a recent flu shot? I did have a flu shot about two months ago. Do you drink tap water? Of course I drink tap water. My, what are you trying to say to me, doctor? Please tell me what you mean. What I mean? What I am saying, Mrs. Kramer, is that you are shrinking from a combination of the tap water, the flu shot, the perfume, the glue, the solvent, your bubble bath, talcum powder, shampoo, hair conditioner, setting lotion, hand lotion, mouthwash, hairspray, breath spray, feminine hygiene spray, deodorant, toothpaste, detergent, eye drops, nose drops, hair coloring, diet soda, birth control pills, and smug, set off by an imbalance already present in your system. No need to be upset, Mrs. Kramer. We helped name half those products. And now that we know what's caused it, why, we can work towards finding an antidote. Go home. Let us do the worrying. Honey, maybe we should be proud. I mean, um, it seems like you've got a wife who's found a way to reverse the whole order of the universe. You'll find an antidote, Pat. You just have to wait. <laughs> wait? I can't wait much longer. I'm shrinking every day. You just have to try to be calm, honey. You stay calm. Honey, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's all right. It's all right. I want you to start thinking about us and our marriage, Vance. Honey, you've got to. I mean, this has been such a strain on both of us. Honey, as long as you have on this, 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 this ring, nothing's changed between us. Let's go home. As the weeks passed, I wondered if they ever did find the antidote, would they still be able to find me? We're hopping mad, then. As well you might be, Vance, but we wouldn't want to let your anger spill over on three of our biggest clients, now, would we? Think of the dent it could put in their profits. Do you know that products could be banned from this? Heads would roll, Vance. Heads would roll. What about the public? I mean, couldn't the label at least say, caution, this product might be hazardous to your, to, to, to your size? We wait for the antidote, and then I personally will conduct a no-holds-barred investigation. We'll publish all the facts, how Pat was brought back to normal by a miracle of modern chemistry. What do you say, team, to the antidote? To the antidote. To the antidote. I was attracting more and more attention each day. The smaller I got, the bigger my name. The top news story of the day continues to be the incredible shrinking woman. Perhaps the petite Pat Kramer is a metaphor for the modern woman. 
it is no secret that the role of the modern housewife has become increasingly less significant. Reluctantly, I allowed Judith to talk me into leaving the house, and it resulted in what will forever be known to us all as the supermarket incident. Judith, I don't think this is such a good idea. Not to mention my legs have fallen asleep. I understand, Pat, but you just bear with me. This is chemical warfare, and I want to show you what we're up against. Look at this. We have Mike's Macho Meal. Let's see here. Fortified food flavoring, ego boosters, synthetic spermatozoa, testosterone, inert sugar syrup, tumescent tissue of bull scrotum. Well, I never. Here we have Cousin Bud's Speedy Spuds. Well, this has everything but the kitchen sink. TBH, Judith, I don't think this is working. Please get me out of here. Just ignore them, Pat. Of all the rudeness, don't you all have something you want to shop for? A little poison, maybe? Just get me out of here. Excuse me, madam, but I'm going to have to take a look in that bag. There is nothing in this sack that is of any concern to you. Hmm. Oh, excuse me, Mrs. Kramer. Oh. being stared at, but I didn't know I was being spied on and in my own shopping mall. It was becoming more and more difficult to lead a normal life. I'm down here, darling. Vance did what he could to help. Everyone did. And the kids tried to understand. OK, here I come. I'm going to tuck you in, ready or not. <laughs> Good night, Concepcion. Good, you're already tucked in. Mom, you want a bar of soap? Oh, honey, uh, not tonight. Are you gonna just keep, just keep shrinking away to nothing? Hey, Ma, if mothers shrink, does that mean their kids will shrink too? Oh, no, honey, no. What happened to me is just some kind of freak accident. Not gonna happen to either one of you, I promise. Hey, Ma, I could drive the car for you. You could. You sure could. Mother, would you say? This is the worst thing that ever happened to us? Oh, no, honey. Lots of things worse could happen. Yeah? Like what? Well, look, I'll think of something and we'll talk about it tomorrow, OK? Night-night. I was rapidly becoming famous, and so was Tasty Meadows. Well, actually, I, uh, uh, we were her first friend yes. in the neighborhood. I believe it was I who first introduced you to Pat. Yeah, well, we, we took him to their first Est seminar. It was She's been like a sister to me. She's been close. like a mother to me. Did she begin to shrink because no one noticed? Did she begin to shrink because no one cared? Did she begin to shrink because her role as homemaker was belittling when she looked at herself? Pat, through you are a celebrity. Oh, did she simply let's face want it, Judith, I'm a freak. Well, that's wife? true. But you're so also a celebrity. Remains, why is Pat Kramer shrinking? Doctors say we'll take a miracle of modern time. Mm. I wish you'd let me help you. Now, Judith, you know I am absolutely no determined to do this myself. Doesn't look good. Mom! Lady from You're on TV Medicine. again! Oh, brother. The question in all our minds is, why is Pat Kramer shrinking? 
Pat, Vance, herself, please, honey. Pat, ignore that. I believe what has happened is a blessing in disguise, a warning to us all. You should see yourself as a kind of divine sacrificial goat. Thanks to you, we're all on our toes. I know I'm much wiser now than I was. <laughs> Me too. Wiser and smaller. Made all three networks. She has great open determination. Hundreds of tourists pass the Kramer household each day, and thousands of letters and phone calls have been pouring into the station out of the question of the whole nation is that. Is why is Pat Kramer? <gasps> I've got it, Pat. You've got to go on national TV and tell off. You owe it to your public. Oh, Judith, I don't know. I, I just... Oh, oh, oh. oh honey, I guess we eat out again. Code. Tom Keller, 234ZXE. Representing? Representing Genetic Engineering Affiliated, International Dynamic Chemicals Corporation, Experimental Science, Omni National Research. Verified. Had I known then all that I know now, I might not have appeared on national TV. But all we knew that December was that Vance and I wanted to do what was right. Bad. No business like show business. <laughs> well, when I think about all the people who are going to see this, Goosebumps, she's going to be positive, isn't she? Oh, excuse me. She's, uh, she's going to talk about the antidote. She's not going to mention the client's products. Well, Pat feels the public should be warned, Dan. I mean, it is a question of integrity. Vance, uh, let's, let's go over here for just a minute. Blow me a kiss. From across the room Say I look fine when I'm not Touch my hand as you pass my chair Little things mean a lot Look, I know her being 36 inches tall is a difficult dilemma. She's not 36 inches anymore. You mean she's shrunk since the last time I saw her? I mean she's shrunk since the last time I saw her. I almost sat on her last night. I'm afraid I'm losing my sanity. We have to help her up the front steps. She showers in the sink. The other day she was holding a piece of toast. I thought it was her purse. And our sex life. Don't ask. I wasn't going to. If I come home, I don't know what I might find. One day, I'm afraid I might come home, I won't even be able to find her. You know what I think, Vance? I think you've got a real bad case of self pityitis Dan, what if these products are dangerous? Dangerous? I'll tell you what's dangerous. If your wife goes out there and creates a crisis in confidence in American consumerism, that's dangerous. Now, maybe some of our products do attack a few blood cells, but you're talking about a television show where millions of people, millions of people are tuning in. Now, do you want to look in there and tell them they can't trust American products? You know what they want? They want hope. Hope. And you want to give them what they want, don't you, Ben? Hmm? Don't you? Little things be I sang that song in honor of a very special, a very brave, and a very remarkable woman. You all have come to know her as the incredible shrinking woman.
Ladies and gentlemen, Mrs. Pat Kramer. Pat? Mike, thank you, but I don't want to be treated any differently than anybody else. Is she great, folks? <laughs> Is that package for me, Pat? Unfortunately, Mike, it's for me. You know, I've been told that the first official Pat Kramer fan club is in our audience tonight. <laughs> Everyone loves you, Pat. I hope you'll take courage from that. I do, Mike. I really do. But let's face it, it's not making me any taller. Has it all been a nightmare? Or has anything good come from this extraordinary experience? Well, Mike, I'll tell you, um, it has mostly been a nightmare. But some good things have happened, like getting to come on your show here. I mean, nobody cared what I had to say when I was my normal height. For Excuse instance, me, Pat. I was... We'll be right back after these messages. Yay! I used Galaxy Glue when I was in the Peace Corps, and that's why we have so many friends and good allies. Galaxy Blue? Hey, I'm stuck on it. <laughs> Everything is under control. You know, everyone has one question in mind, and I have that same question in my mind right now. Why are you shrinking? It hasn't been determined yet, Mike. Right on. <laughs> Pat, after talking about your case with you, I must admit that I'm more baffled now than I was before. I uh, believe that you all know Dr. Eugene Nords. No, I don't think I... May I present my colleague, Ruth Ruth. What you are about to hear, gentlemen, Sandra, will deliver us to the threshold of a new era of civilization. We, the Organization for World Management, can be the trailblazers of tomorrow and be assured our place as the power elite forever. <laughs> Einstein did for time and space. High notes will do for shape and size. My studies show that a serum could be developed from the blood of what's her name? Pam? Pat. Pat Kramer. Yes. Yeah. A shrink serum which can be used to reduce individuals or entire and using a process not unlike water fluoridation, a few drops in a country's water system would be most effective for shrinking masses of people. Except, of course, for a few of us. Shrink the world. Hey, I like it. All we need is the Kramer woman in our hands. Well, I, I feel I would need assurances, you know, that no harm was going to come to that little lady or, well, you'd have to count me out. Not so fast, Dan. We can't count you out. You know too much. Oh, I, I may know too much, but I think, fortunately, you know, for all of us here, see, I don't really understand everything it is that I know. Now, that's what really counts, isn't it? I need her blood. 
You have our word. No harm will come to the Kramer woman. Now, do you have some ideas about how we should approach her? Oh, I've got ideas. Old Tan has got a plan A, sure. Is there something you'd like to say to America? I want to thank everybody first so much for all the cards and the letters you've sent, all the, all the good wishes, because Vance and the children and I, it's meant so much to us. Right now, I think we're sort of existing on, on prayers and hope. So I want to thank you very much, America, and happy holidays. Christmas came and went, and so did Skip. To my family, I'd become a doll, and to our dog, a chew stick. While Concepcion had her hands full with the kids and the curiosity seekers, I reluctantly moved into the dollhouse and tried to contribute to the mounting doctor bills by working on my memoirs. The strange, almost stranger than strange, unbelievable story of Pat Kramer is one that must be told. I know because, unfortunately, I am Pat Kramer. Strange. I'm a stranger than strange. Stop! Stop! Hey, Mom! I'm busy, Jeff! Mom, it's an emergency! Honey, what is it? Jeff! Jeff, honey, what is it? Hey, honey! Please. Make believe there's a party. They're opposed! Hey, oh, Jeff, go to your room. Right, right now! Just like that. And the rest of you off the furniture! Oh. And why are you grinning at, you big creep? Now I am really mad. And I'm taking Mother to school for show and tell. You are not. She's done with me. She's going to do a war show, and that's final. Oh, Dad, boy, I am mad now. I want everybody out of here right now. Very easy. Stop this. I'm going to count to ten. I want this to stop right now. One, two, three. Oh, oh. Listen, can you come on? Oh, wait, you wouldn't dare. Don't you dare. That's my mother! You, you, wait a second. Wait a second. Hi, I'm Roger the Robot. Let's blast off together. Meet me at the space station. Hi, I'm Ricky the Rabbit. I like to play the drum. President of Paxton Toys. Great little kidder. Huh? So, when all the fan mail came in from your TV appearance, we got a big idea. <laughs> right, Vance? Well, you, you and Tom did, really, actually. 
more champagne. Pat. Pat! Dance! Mark, what you did! Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> You're such a good sport, and you got such a cute personality. It hit me. You could make millions advertising products. Tom here wants to make a doll out of you. <laughs> the Pam, uh, uh, Pat Kramer doll. I have arranged for my private plane to fly you to our main design center. We want to start immediately. More champagne? You did it again. Look, he did it again. What do you say? You get your little things together and we can leave right away, tonight. <laughs> oh, yeah, I, I think tonight is a little soon. Maybe tomorrow would be more appropriate. Honey, I don't want to go tomorrow any other day. She didn't mean what she just said. Really not. I certainly hope not. No, no, no. She's going to be a big star. <laughs> oh. You better talk to, uh, Tom. Concepcion will do that tomorrow. Don't bother. That's okay. Do it. You think I should take the offer, don't you? What I think is that this could be the first good thing to come out of all this. I mean, we've got all these bills. We could use the money. That's all we've talked about all night long is money. I wish you would just think about it. I have. I have thought about it. I just know I'm not interested. I guess you're not interested in this either. Night, Pat. Looks like we switched to plan B. Don't worry, Tom. <laughs> Old Dan's in charge.
sorry, Stan. Move over, you big lug. Next morning, I awoke to find I was shrinking again. Outside our house, the crowds were growing. Our neighbors were becoming as world famous as I was. Being in the spotlight was changing everyone, even Concepcion. Don't worry about the bacon, Pat. I'm late already. What do you want me to tell Dan? I knew you wouldn't do it. Sorry, my, my wife is, is, is not interested at this time. She's, you know, she, she's been through a lot. Oh, well, please call us if your wife changes her mind. Maybe some other time. Thank, th thank you anyway. Plan C. I love you, Pat. I'm sorry, I just don't see how selling a cute little doll could hurt anything. A cute little doll? Vance, do you, do you think we need another cute little doll in the world? I mean, really? Do you think we need another glue or a perfume or a detergent that, that eats away dirt along with your life? I mean, you tell me. Come on, kids. Pat, when you're ready to come down off that soapbox, g give me a call. Honey, wait, Vance. Honey, wait, wait, don't leave. Vance, I love you. Wait a second. Wait a second, Vance. W wait, don't. Kids, wait a second. I need you, for I love you all. Please, Vance. Ah! 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 Ah!
Some flowers here for a pet, Kramer. Yeah. Who are you? No speak English. No English, Espanol. Sí. Ah, como, como se llama? Concepción. Concepción. <laughs> bizarre and tragic turn in an already tragic story, the incredible shrinking woman, Pat Kramer, has been lost in a fatal household accident. That the whole nation joins in mourning the untimely passing of Pat Kramer. That the hopes for the incredible shrinking woman are down the drain. Film at 11. and neighbors, we are gathered here today to bid goodbye to a beautiful and courageous woman who gave so very much and got so little. Is something wrong with the monitors? I haven't caught him yet, but I think Sydney plays with the wire. Please, somebody, tell me where I am. Can he reach over there? I don't know, but then I don't know how he does half the things he does. Like, how do he learn sign language in three weeks? How come he can beat the computer at chess? You know he's downright abnormal, if you ask me. No offense, Sydney. Please tell me where I am! 
if you're not quiet, Mrs. Kramer, we're going to have to sedate you again. Sidney's got another one of his headaches. You ask me, he's addicted to pain pills. Well, he's been under a lot of strain, you know. Paige is a mess. Clean up all those banana peels. See, he's saying Sydney in pain. Sydney head hurt. Oh, poor Sydney. If you ask me, he's faking it. I'm sorry, now we did teach him sign language. All he ever does is complain. Now what's he trying to say? Sydney in pain? Sydney heart hurt? Why should his heart hurt? It's my guess he feels sorry for her. Thousands and thousands of dollars, and all we've got to show for it is a sentimental gorilla. Is this monitor working? Testing. One, two, three, four. Real cute, Sydney. Real cute, Sydney. <clears throat> Dr. Nords. Dr. Nords, what kind of time frame are we dealing with? The answer is already in her blood. We simply have to get the answer before she disappears. Maybe we should kick this around a little more. Too late now. I knew I'd found a friend. There was something I felt from this big, sweet gorilla that can best be described as human kindness. There had to be a way we could help each other. Sydney, keys. There must be keys. If you could get the keys and, and unlock your cage. Keys. Yes, you know, you know, the keys. Hey, how you doing, guys? Just looking at you. <laughs> and all the monkeys on in the zoo every day give me quite a few. So you see, it's all up to you. You could be swinging on the star. Sydney, hey. What a mess. More banana peels. Oh, please, won't you help me? You look so much kinder than the others. Look, I only work here, lady. Don't you know who I am? I'm the shrinking woman. I'm Pat Kramer. Oh. Uh, they told me you'd say that. You're Pat Kramer's clone. The real Pat Kramer's dead. I'm dead? Dead her in a doornail. Dr. Nortz made a clone of her right before she bit the dust. No, no, I'm not a clone. I'm not. You've got to believe me. Dr. Nortz is a liar. He took an oath when he became a doctor. He's supposed Listen, to be Listen, Dr. Nortz is a wonderful man. They're all wonderful here. This is a place where great work is going on that will help all humanity. <laughs> they told me so. Hey, Sydney, give me back those keys. This is a horrible, horrible place where people are used like guinea pigs. Even Sydney, because you've got to help me call my husband, please. Oh, please, he must be worried sick. Look, I make it a point not to get involved with clones. Oh. Night, Sydney. Sydney, quick, the folder. The folder. Yes, yes. Put it right up here. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you, Sydney.
I read all through the night, the horror in my heart mounting with each page as I learned of their diabolical plan. These people were so big, the only way they could become bigger was by making all of us smaller. What little blood I had left began to boil. No, no, Sydney, you don't know what they're trying to do to us. I just can't imagine. <laughs> I couldn't stand by and just let this happen. But what could I, the smallest person on the face of the earth, do to help anyone? We gotta do something, Sydney. regulations. You could get us all in a lot of trouble. We're already in a lot of trouble. Dr. North is planning to use me to shrink the world. I know you don't believe me, but look in my folder. Go ahead, look. Read page 10, the pink page. Look, read it, you'll see. Shrink the world? Sydney too? All kinds of people, everybody. Oh, please. If you care about Sydney, if you care about anything, Please, let me call my husband. Please. They really are planning to shrink the world. And get someone on your private lunch. She says she's your wife. I got to stop these crank calls. Sorry, Dale. I'll be right back. Pat, Pat, it's me. I'm alive. I'm alive. Pat, my God, where are you? Pat, my God. Pat, where are you? Oh, Pat, what I don't have much time. I've been kidnapped by the Organization for World Management. They want to use me to shrink the world. Pat, my God, where are you? Oh, Rob, quick, where am I, Rob? Where am I? Oh, um... Vance! Vance! Pat! Pat! Vance! Vance! Operator! Operator! I'm so sorry, but you have been disconnected from the party to whom you were speaking. And you better lay off the buttons, Buster. Hello? Uh, uh... Go on! Save yourself! Oh, 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 uh, but maybe I... No, there's fine in here. Uh, all right. Okay, look, I'll be back. I, I'll be back, I swear! <laughs> Trouble, little lady. I demand to know what you did with Rob. You're in no position to demand anything. Have you looked at yourself in a mirror lately? Now hold still. Ah! Leave me alone! Leave me alone! <laughs> Blood ah! work. Don't touch me! Don't touch me! Ah! Oh! Still hold no! still. No! 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 This news bulletin just in, a new development in the increasingly mysterious Pat Kramer case. My wife is alive. She phoned me. She's been kidnapped. I called the police and they didn't believe me. She's being held by a group that call themselves the Organization for World Management. I see. You don't believe me either. My wife is alive. My wife is alive! I'm sorry. No, no, Mr. Kramer. I was so small by afternoon that I could slip through the bars of my cage. 
So they found another prison for me. It's our station's policy to always try to present both sides of every issue to answer Mr. Kramer's charges. Mr. Logan Carver. Thank you. As a representative of the Organization for World Management, I can only say, Jackie, that of course there is no connection between the deceased Kramer woman and our company. And uh, that shocking phone call can only be interpreted as a heinous, sadistic crank call uh, or um, the understandably confused imagination of a bereaved husband. <laughs>
not a professional actress. I am a real person like yourself. And I'm not here to sell you a product, but to give you some good consumer advice. KXRZ News Team, coming to you live from Tasty Meadows, California. For the last eight hours, top-level network officials and statesmen have met behind closed doors to join together in finding a way to demonstrate the worldwide mourning occasioned by the almost unbelievable death of Mrs. Pat Kramer. And so at midnight tonight, the world will be united as bells all over the world ring out in her memory. This remarkable event will be broadcast via satellite, a fitting tribute to the extraordinary little woman who Life was not lived in vain. Biggest rating in TV history. Remind us all that no matter how Shove small, it, Dan. meaningless or insignificant we may think we are, even the smallest of us can make a difference. I'm here tonight standing amongst her noble and very caring neighbors, people you've come to know almost as well as Pat herself, the tiny woman who did what all the big, powerful political leaders of our time have tried to do so often and failed. She brought the world together. If only for a moment. We thank you, Pat. It's midnight. Cathedral, toll the passing of Patricia Kramer. 
The American lady who has captured the heart of Patricia Kramer, the incredible shrinking woman. She's a fairly incredible shrinking woman, Patricia Kramer. My informant, Patricia Kramer, the incredible shrinking woman. This remarkable event will be broadcast via satellite. A fitting tribute to the extraordinary little woman whose life was not lived in vain. Pat Kramer should remind us all that no matter how small, meaningless, or insignificant we may think we are, even the smallest of us can make a difference. We give you the remarkable last moments of Pat Kramer, just before she blew away. This lady says she belongs here. <laughs> this man but you haven't done anything trust me I didn't put this on again, honey. Seeing you like this, it's just like everything's the same again. Oh, no, Judith. Nothing will ever be the same again. It's funny. Push harder, honey. Is that big monkey actually going to live in our neighborhood? Here, let me try, sweetheart. Uh, uh, mm.
love them all But they make me seem so very small They look to me, I look to them Galaxy Glue, Galaxy Glue What would we do without Galaxy Glue? Galaxy Glue, Galaxy Glue Life would go to pieces without Galaxy Glue Blue